All right, another short video. Most likely it's gonna be for people that never use this cable. They have sometimes question hey, what cable you use and where you get the software. So uh, we're gonna be connecting um, Quad 6 Pro to a computer. My computer runs with the Windows 10. Uh, so hopefully it works the same way as uh, on Windows 11. So, uh, all right, so to download the software, you just gotta go and type Anyton Quad 6 Pro, Anyton, and then you find the website with the Anyton.net product. You hit that. And then we're gonna go to section on the top, downloads. And right there on my side, when you see uh, page one right here, it's on the top. Where is it? There you go. AT66 Pro PC software. Go ahead, download. It's gonna go and download right here. You can hit run. All right, it's right here, so we can scroll this page. Let me set this up in here. Actually, I can use this like this. So it's software is right there. Hit that. I'm gonna install it. Yes. Next. Pro version 2.2. .2. Create desktop. I. Yeah. Create desktop shortcut. All right. Oh, let's go launch it. I'll close this window. All right, so it's uh, I got antivirus software. It shows it's um, issue with the uh, with the software. There's no issue. So look, I think it's the uh, it has a virus. It's still scanning. Does it want to pass this page? What's going on in here? Still scanning. It's not sure what's going on, you know? It doesn't know if it's uh, Trojan or something else. Now let's see what happens. Eight seconds more, seven, six. Okay, more option. And you gotta go open anyway. Open anyway. At least I will open. I, I I have no problem with opening this thing. If you guys are afraid or something, it's up to you, your choice. All right. So software looks similar to Quad Six, but it has obviously more functions because radio has more functions. So hold on, let me set this phone I'm gonna plug this cable this is a programming cable not some regular crack USB cable let me plug that in all right phone uh, radio was uh, recognized by the driver so you have to go to this icon communication port hit that and it will show communication port. Let's see if there are multiple or just one. Okay, in my situation, I have one. Before on the Quad 6, I had multiple ports and I have to figure out which one to choose. And if you choose the wrong one, it won't, won't communicate. If you choose the right one, it will communicate. So this one shows only COM4. It's okay. And now we're gonna suck the data out of the radio. So read from radio, I'm gonna hit this. While I'm hitting this, the screen should change. Okay, now it shows read data from radio. Okay, boom. It's in the PC mode. So, straightforward. So it's reading.
it's almost done. It takes a minute. It says uh, read data complete. Okay, and now you guys can see the options. Pretty much whatever you guys have in the radio is in here. They have okay. That takes it. That's the channel information. Okay, then you have uh, option futures. Boom. There's a lot of options in this radio. I mean, it's amazing how much stuff they have in it. You can uh, disable like I don't I don't use CW and PA, so I can disable that. There's a SWR protection in here, same as the uh, Quad Six, Vox level, all that stuff. So there's a lot of options. FM deviation, leave it at four. PF key, that's the key that is in the uh, middle of the uh, microphone. It's, you can customize. You can customize everything you can do on the menu in the uh, radio, or you can do it in here. And then, of course, you guys have a Roger beeps. You guys can customize this. Six, up to six. There's a seven and eight, but that's just not functional. So you can you can set up uh, Roger tone from one to six. And then DTMF option. All right, yeah, you guys can play with it. The main point was to show people how to download the software and uh, connect it. And when you change something, then you just go right here, right to the radio. So, so I changed the, uh, I took the PA, and um, what did I took? Let me see again. Option features. Oh, CW, okay, I took the CW, so now I'm going to write the data to the radio. Write to radio, boom. And okay. Now it's programming the radio. Alright, so data is written, written, it's complete. Press OK. Now you can uh, close this. All the software you can just pretty much close it and it's asking you file has been modified save it you can save it or you don't up to you I say yes and I just have to cycle the radio turn it off turn it on and there's a mode so I change it so there's no PA so I've got LSB FM AM USB no no LSB no PA or uh, CW. Alright, 73.